I've seen just about everything. Uh, there's nothing I haven't seen. There's nothing I haven't heard. I've been through 20 air raids. An up close and scary experience witnessing war's devastation. That experience inspiring a Charleston man's continuing efforts to help out his friends living in the danger zones of Ukraine. We had a missile hit at one point when I was in um, uh, Mikolai and um, it was a block away, killed a lady. Jamie Price serves the people of Charleston as a member of the city's code enforcement division. But a month long break to make a documentary on the missing orphans in Ukraine, inspiring him to serve beyond American borders. And I went over there to, to help. And it, what occurred is just amazing. Knowing uh, the volunteers, the people who've done that, the army, which I have four friends in the Ukrainian army and been with them. Price says his connections to Ukraine go back decades and it was time to return. Uh, actually, I've been in Ukraine for one month in the Ukraine uh, from Kyiv, uh, Kyiv all the way down to Odessa and in the, in the fighting areas. His take on the people of Ukraine? But the Ukrainian people are the strongest people I've ever met in my life. Even though they're separated by continents and a war, the bond getting stronger. These are the people. They're, They've all become my friends. The army, my four army friends, I'm part of their unit. I mean, we're like, really, and, it, and they need all the help they can get. The people in Bucha, that's the family to me, their house is blown up. She still tends her garden. They don't ask for anything. Price is planning on fundraising for his Ukrainian family, returning with aid that those needing it won't ask for. Charleston's my love. I work for the city, but those people need, they don't need me. They, they need me to laugh and smile and move. They're so amazing. One of Price's biggest supporters here at home, Mayor John Tecklenburg. I think it's a blessing. Um, I think it's an incredible personal humanitarian effort that Jamie embarked upon. It's, it's, um, it's just an honor to know this guy that would take his time and go do this personally. It's, it's, it's incredible. Today is the first step in a legislative process that could see a full out abortion ban here in South Carolina, which if passed would make places like this, the Planned Parenthood in West Ashley off Ashley River Road, which is one of only three abortion clinics in the state. Well, it would make it extinct. Uh, the a special committee in the South Carolina House of Representatives, or what's better known as a ad hoc committee, was created specifically for abortion just days after the Dobbs v. Jackson Supreme Court ruling came down. Now, the committee, it will hold its first public hearing today to debate a full out ban of abortions altogether. The hearing will also look over proposals, which include wording from a similar Senate bill, and if approved, it would penalize health care providers who help women get abortions and prevent women of certain ages to go out of state for abortions. Now, with this legislation now on the table, some are worried about how this will affect women in the Palmetto State, while some believe it is a step in the right direction. At the lengths at which lawmakers are going to control people's private medical decisions should concern us all, regardless of your personal views on abortion. I don't think it's a restriction. We're looking to expand the opportunity for a baby to be born. Just because baby doesn't mean it's not a baby. We've got to start stepping up security in this area and get this area cleaned up and the mess that's in this area out of here. The bad elements can go with a little assistance from the city of Lumberton. A Lumberton community paralyzed in fear tonight after their neighbor was assaulted and killed in her own home by a stranger. This man, Jermaine Lee Johnson, has been charged in connection with the attack. That's right, and police say that it all happened in the Rosier Farm, the Rosier Homes development. It happened early Sunday morning. Now, Johnson is accused of assaulting two women. They say he forced his way into the home and then killed Barbara Baxley. ABC 15's Tanya Brown is joining us now live just outside the Lumberton Police Department with new developments on the investigation and how community members are responding. Tanya. 
Jennifer Collar. Police tell me that the suspect faces more charges. They haven't released the specific law, the nature of those charges just yet. Meanwhile, people who live in the community where all of this happened, well, tonight they are living in fear. I'm not really surprised that it took place, but I am hurt that it took place. 60 year old Keith Harden lives around the corner where police say a woman was assaulted and killed Sunday while inside her home on Seneca Street in Lumberton. Officers say her 25 year old daughter was also assaulted but managed to get away and run for help. Harden tells me crime in the community is just out of control. This lady did not ask for this. She did not ask for this to take place and could not even feel safe in her own home. But that's why I will not even sit on my, ha uh, on my own front porch without my pistol on my side. He says last Father's Day, he witnessed a shootout right in front of his home. Me sitting on the porch, they were shooting at him. I had to worry about being hit by stray bullets. Hardin showed me around his house where it's surrounded by a locked gate. He has several surveillance cameras, bulletproof doors, lights, and double pane windows all around his home just to stay safe. I do not feel safe on my own property. Hardin says he's made several complaints to the Lumberton Police Department about crime in the area of Chippewa, Seneca, and First Streets. He's praying they'll step up patrols. Hardin says he longs to just one day sit on his porch, listen to the wind chimes, and not worry about his safety. I'd much rather hear wind chimes chiming in this area, making a beautiful sound like the one you hear in the background now, than to hear bullets flying up and down this street.